Yes, Cyrus says, uh, 6 p.m. in India. And for the first time today, this is truly an international show. We've, we've had William Dalrymple, I think, in England somewhere. And we've had a couple of guys in New York. But this is really 100% and totally an international show because one of our founding members is in the United States of America. And I'll prove to you that he is because he has an American accent. He'll be on in a second. We've also got Kunal Rao, a leading comedian, who obviously decided that today is a light day for work. So I'll come on this crappy show. And uh, Silvery, of course, is our leader. Oh, 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 oh miracle! Sai. <laughs> it's mode in Madhuran at last. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's most on-time patient. Thank God he's not a cardiac surgeon or a pilot. Or in charge of the armed forces. The one and only. That's my true, bro. Cyrus, the That's junior. true, bro. If I was a cardiac surgeon, I'd really mess shit up. I would have messed <laughs> shit up really bad. How are you doing, guys? I'm good. I'm, we're all good. But just looking at you right now, Sahu. I don't think the other three know that you're checking out your mouth, your lips, and your <laughs> and now your tongue. Beautifully done. Guys, can you tell? His interest level is only in him. Yeah. We, we don't, uh, he can leave. So how was, how was, your, uh, how was, your, how was your, the divorce proceedings? Tell me. Uh, oh, the divorce proceedings are going very well, Sao mm -hmm. She's mm -hmm. five feet behind me, <laughs> counting the money. That's right, right. Made. That's really sad. That's really tragic. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> It's so good to see you, man. It's so good to oh, see you, bro. Listen, How I, are you I, doing? I, it's like what classical is this? conditioning. Nah? The moment you say Saukar, it's like bittersweet. I get really, yeah. wow, Saukar, and then the penny drops. Oh, God, it's a live show. Yeah, I know. Then, I know. Look, I look. Oh, so are we already live? What's happening? I don't know what's happening. Yes, we are already live. This, this show is a make but, or break show for society. Everybody looks at their time and, you know, the six o'clock, got to watch this show. Who's Millions of people watch. tuning in and stuff. <laughs> Uh, this is it basically. So if you leave, we are twenty five percent less. So don't do but, that. But, but, yeah. but brother, how have you been? How have you guys been? What's been up, man? What's been? Your up? hair is looking very sharp, Baba. I don't want to get. No, no. I came from a shoot. Really it's good. not like this. No, no. It's not like this. Otherwise, <laughs> I came from a shoot. I just had a photo shoot where oh, I still, funny. I still, I'm still getting. Oh, funny, funny face, banana. Funny face. <laughs> what, 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 what does that mean? And then the guy's like clicking you, and you're so nervous in between conversations. He's clicking half mouth. But he's actually saying photo. funny face. With me, they say odd expression. Like, you know, like you've got nothing. <laughs> odd expression. Odd expression. Yeah. yeah, this is it. This is what... Really this is humiliating. What we'll... How sad. Yeah, and... humiliation. Really. Also, I, I really think that the still camera is a really terrible place. Like, I have... Terrible. There's something horrible happens. Like it's like removing your power. You have no power. This just this yeah. is gonna catch you in mid conversation over some shit. It's the most awkward thing, isn't it? Because you have to stop it. and pause, and it's so unnatural where everybody pauses, and they take so long to get the damn picture taken. That the awkward pause no. just goes on forever. Also, I'll tell you what happens. See, it doesn't happen to you as much, but for me, because I'm sure. My... No, in my head, <laughs> because I've always made one kind of face in a mirror, I feel I'm relatively presentable as a human being, decent. Then I see the fucking image and I'm like, oh my God, what is that? That's horrible. <laughs> so the, the, the disappointment starts getting proceedingly higher as the you shoot goes you on. You want to talk about self-esteem? When they show me the picture they've taken, I don't feel like modeling again. You know, and, <laughs> and they're like, hey, don't very happy yeah. myself, the stupid photographer. And another fat middle-aged man is in the frame and you're showing and, it yeah. to me. Yeah. And they play that uh, dance music, which gets me super <laughs> anxious. So I get more and more stressed. You know what yeah. I mean? They like, never ask you what you want to hear. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Have you done any yeah. of these shoots? Did they decide the music? Very few. You know? Very few. But are you a natural Kunal? Apparently, I am. But I've been told. I'm a natural. I have, I have all of six photographs that have been done in the studio, and those are the only six photographs I've used all my life. Uh, this is you're talking about Adar Pan. Uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Amit, Let's bring Amit in. He's in the United States of South Africa, International Show. Wow, Shore. Amit, what are you US. saying? No, I was wondering how bright is it he outside his window. Yes. He made it. I, feel like, I feel like you had a fake window or something. It is. Outside lighting. It's and early morning over here. coming back. Yeah, well, no, I'll be, I'm, I'm back soon. I'm back soon. I'm back as soon as I can get back. Uh, why? Your first impression oh. there, man. Should well, no, I, no, no. I, I, yeah, that's dying true. everywhere? No, it's actually been interesting, right? I mean, like, uh, so the journey here was interesting. The, we were super paranoid in India. Once I got to Qatar, everybody was like, whatever, right? There's like no, <laughs> nobody was paying any attention to anything at that point in time. And uh, when I reached, uh, so I'm in Washington, D.C. area, right? So when I reached the D.C. airport, there were probably like 1,500, 2,000 people in the uh, immigration lines, 
right? And yeah, uh, I'm just like, okay, yeah, this is, and, and you know, the, so most people were wearing masks inside that place, but then as soon as you got to the baggage place, everybody's taking their masks off. It, hey, it's really. Were you thinking? Were you looking at racial profiling? And I was. Oh God, Indians, Indians, Indians. Well, so that's a natural phenomenon of traveling, right? I mean, like because you see that again, annoying people are generally Indian people, right? Again, in in the sense that they are the ones who want to get up as soon as <laughs> the. Okay, air... Kuna, what a podcast! <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing. It's a good thing we're big in Nambia. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, when I in the US and he's already like Indians. Oh my God! No, no, I, did, I, did, I consider. I, I'm as a matter of fact, not as an arrogant statement. As okay, a of fact. You, yes, so okay, you you guys tell me, right? It, it, on most international flights, who are the people who are harassing and irritating the everybody around them? Indeed, who are the people? Well, huh? Most irritating people ever, man. And and yeah. I have been around uh, at two occasions in my you life. Open the Pandora's so, box, yeah, go on. yeah, bro. Like in 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 Thailand, you know, uh, there was an Indian guy. This woman was sending selling hundred and twenty baht uh, watches, so like hundred and thirty bucks Indian rupees. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty reasonable amount for a pretty trashy watch. This guy is saying, how much is this? And then he's picking up three, four and putting in his bag. Okay. And then she catches him. And then she sort of looks at me and says that, you know, you guys. And he's like, Bhaiya, aap hi batao inko. Okay. And I'm like, how are we bonded? Because we are somehow in the same geographical <laughs> area. And why am I part of this guy's group? And I immediately realized that I have nothing. Like I'm, I abandoned the guy. And I'm like, beat him, arrest him. And I told him, kya kar you giving us all a bad name, man. You know, yeah. they are they are terrible travelers. They are terrible. They, they, they are... have a bad reputation also. Uh, like, I, you... I actually I was flying business class for the first time ever. Okay. Oh, good once it happened, once. Oh, I think I think you waited for all this to happen so you could mention that. Yeah. So just <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I, I, I bought the plane. A comedy gig. <laughs> I mean, it definitely wasn't. Are you mad? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I was I bought the plane and I'm putting my bag above my seat on business class and this uh, aerostis comes obviously white aerostis comes to me and she's like uh, so what's your seat number? I said it's you know. 7B and this is my seat. I said, I swear to God, she turned to me and she looked me up and down. She says, Oh, business class. What, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> I'm wow. like, Yeah, my dad's rich. What the hell does that mean? She's like, No, no, please have a seat. Sir. <laughs> Just, wow, really, man? That's yeah, insane. Yeah. It guys, stop, stop the show. To be I, fair, I, I was in the shorts mic. and chappals. I forgot to plug so in the I mic. I should have dressed. Dude, I was like, I'm going to go in chappals, obviously. I can hear them. That's <laughs> great, great stuff. All this time, you couldn't hear us. All this time, I you could barely just... hear you. Luckily, I don't, I'm not a listener, so it was okay. I, I sort of fudged through it. But uh, I got the business class story, the racist uh, rant, <laughs> which uh, I think we are paying for generations of uh, bad etiquette yeah. across yeah. the world yeah. from our yeah. forefathers. Uh, uh, hello, hello. And they start screaming and shit. And know. the click, the this, click, this, hey, the dude, snap. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the snap. Dude, I love yeah. that. I'm telling you, there was a guy behind me. Uh, I, unless the plane was Nikhil crashing Chirapa. and you, you looked outside your window and one of the wings was on fire, there's no reason why you start doing. He started. So she also, they also treat us badly, bro. She makes, they make eye contact and they just walk by. You know what I mean? Even after you're doing stuff like that. Right. But she did that to him twice where he's like, eh, and then he started doing, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> and this one white woman in front row is like, oh my God, is something wrong? Is it, honey, honey, honey. <laughs> <laughs> paranoid because he's having a, a nervous breakdown. Silvery, what do you think of uh, Sahu's uh, Dehati acting, which has been perfected on the streets of Gurgaon growing <laughs> up? Hey! Very, very the natural. One the one syllable guys, you meet, yeah. I call them the one syllable guys, you just do that. Hey? Ooh, Dude, uh, it. It's uh, all it's it. it was like a, a, breathe, a mental, mental breakdown of breath. Like, ah. I'm surprised they don't go like that way. Toto. <laughs> no, like, like, a, like a whether to side with your a, Indian yeah. brethren or with, to help the poor befuddled air hostess. So, I mean, because you know, yeah. you can see both sides. Sometimes they just want to communicate. They, they don't mean to be rude. They can't help themselves. <laughs> no, but it's it, it's endemic, right? Yesterday, uh, some. Um, also, uh, I, I was in the lounge at the Qatar airport, right? And over there, the like, so there's a buffet. And so like, you know, the, at the lounge, you're supposed to go to the buffet and pick it up, right? And they serve you tea and coffee. And there was this person, there, there was this guy who was just insisting, no, you go and get me stuff from the buffet. Oh. And, the, and I'm just like, what is this? Like, like, how can you have that? I get it, but I mean, it's just crazy, right? Why would you, it's, yeah. 10 steps go pick up your food come back they'll serve you coffee on the table that's all you need to i i, I just I didn't understand the attitude they can't like yeah. they can't what do you call a guy in a in the qatar airport who was uh chopping wood 
a wood katar <laughs> 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 See, this, these are the reasons why these are the reasons so why we slowly went there the spice girls ended <laughs> i've got a couple of really bad ones i want to say later this. but should we get into the stories mr silvery yes i didn't like even know that there was these were stories bro what is happening on the news you guys discussed the news i wanted to discuss philosophy and stuff like that bro you must you must and if we we can okay. always mute you so don't worry so <laughs> We can French the tutorials. Yeah. Well, at the moment, this... apparently there's a thing, this thing called COVID, and uh, Mumbai stops at 4 p.m. Uh, these are the two crunch, crunch issues for me. But Silvery is shooting dug deep. All shoot stops at 4, right? I just no, came no, no. to shoot it. No, everything I stops. I go. Till uh, we work till 10 in the night. You just have to really? go to the right place. This is India. It's called Jugad. You go to the right place and you bend the rules a little bit and you carry on. Yeah, <laughs> Niyota. अंतरिक्ष <laughs> 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 yeah, actually, Antriksha hasn't if spoken Antriksha, at all. If Silvery so, doesn't yeah. talk, it means he's talking to someone who provides him with stuff, which is more important <laughs> to his cause. Yeah. It's always yeah, I'm always on the side chat with my hustlers and dealers and all that. And now, thanks to Pegasus, <laughs> I'm talking about also. you. They're watching you <laughs> till okay, it's legalized, okay. at least in UP. Uh, carry on. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, what else is happening in the news is uh, last episode we talked about the Pegasus spyware program, which. Uh, Uh, a lot of uh, our politicians and activists and journalists and lawyers have been uh, spied upon through that spy spyware program uh, now what is happening is uh, a lot of states are trying to launch investigations uh, some states are uh, seeing some resistance bengal has become the first state to launch a probe uh, uh, into this another interesting thing that has happened there, on the side though these are not these yeah. are probably non bjp states i mean that's just a coincidence yeah Yes, they are not BJP. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Yes. Oh, sorry, uh, go on. Another go on. interesting, an, another interesting thing that happened is uh, the Standing Committee of Information Information Technology, which uh, controls all this stuff. Uh, they were supposed to have a meeting yesterday, which uh, they were supposed to, and they were supposed to deliberate on this issue. Basically, like what happened, who was involved, how did this come to happen, or whatever, whatever. The uh, BJP MPs, uh, they showed up. But they did not sign their attendance, like on purpose. Apparently, you need like the thirty-one person committee. Quorum, quorum, and yeah, 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 quorum. Yeah, you need like ten people to be able to conduct the 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 meeting, and uh, they couldn't do it because the BJP MP showed up, but they did not sign the attendance. Like children, like little children, like we will not sign. Uh, so then, why did they show up? What did they want to communicate? I mean, just they want the information. They don't want the responsibility. Right, the, right. it doesn't exist. You don't want to be aligned yeah. to the. Investigation, so or whatever you right. want to call it. No, they're basically playing the quorum game, right? Without the quorum, the meeting's not official. So they're finding out what they want to do, but there's no quorum. Right. So, Zero accountability. Yeah. 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 Exactly. yeah. It doesn't. It's 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 the best thing in politics. It doesn't exist. It's like a phantom. It's the best thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. It didn't happen. It happened, but it didn't happen. It's, it's like Kaiser Soze. Yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, do you, do you guys think we'll ever get answers though, or like any, if these probes will, if anything happens, will, if the they will prove anything? Changes, if the government changes, you'll get. Yeah, two thousand twenty-five, we should get answers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and even then, it'll be like someone liked eating omelets or some shit. Like you know, it won't be the real shit. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm worried that lots of the might of the Pegasus uh, machine will be spent on Raj Kundra's complete works. I mean, they'll all be like, "Oh, look, Gania, Gania," and you'll find all the actors have done tests. Saukar, like the ones you suggested, one word, one syllable. Eh, eh, you're in. Does it take much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, Let... Kural, have you seen some of this stuff? I just want to know I... what it actually is and the line between porn and non-porn. You're talking about the Raj Kundra stuff, right? Not the Pegasus stuff. Yeah, of course. We left Pegasus. We left Pegasus behind. <laughs> Not, none of the no. Pegasus stuff is released. Right? Who's your pusher? No. Who's your pusher? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Leave Pegasus behind. Yeah, let's move on. Where are the priorities? <laughs> He's still recovering from the German woman who told him, "Why you talk like that?" Oh. <laughs> let's be let's be clear. Raj Kundra got married to Shilpa Shetty after she won Big Brother UK. Right, so we know that he's always had 
uh, and inclination towards voyeurism. So I'm not surprised that this happened. <laughs> I feel so bad for them. They're also a couple, you know. Everybody's yeah. taking a shot. You, you bring it up, oh, and yeah. Really, yeah. Uh, come yeah. on, okay. Come on, second. they're a couple. That's fine. So, so this is fine. It's acceptable. He's just making a living, you know. He's just trying to make some money. Is that okay? <laughs> come on. He's an artist. He's an artist. Saukar, we've done worse for MTV, bro. I want a diaper. You want women's clothing? We walked around the streets of Bangalore, shaved legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, worse than can... porn. I mean, it should have been banned in any culture. But it's <laughs> a good question. Has anyone here like got a look at what is what what is the so, level? I uh, have. You know, I tried. Watched. I tried looking for it, but I couldn't find it. I really did. Right. <laughs> I was like, "What right. is this? What?" Uh, because it, to my understanding, it's basically still soft core. It's not even hardcore. There's no right. penetration shown. So, so it, it, from what, what I understand, it's soft core, and it's only available through a specific app. So it's not like open in the world itself, right? So you have to right. follow specific. It, it's like an OnlyFans mm-hmm. type thing, which is like the big uh, uh, porn startup space thing, where like you know you follow individual creators. So it's like Patreon for uh, you know. Wow. Uh, oh, the, wait, you know so uh, much about the pornographic yeah, landscape. Yes, I do. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Yes, I do. Almost like a business businessman uh, see well, the value of it <laughs> well but no that's, so that's just it right in some sense uh, you, you know i mean like it's uh, it's just weird right i mean like that uh, the way that all these things are structured laws are structured all this it's just strange it makes it, it it's they uh, he could be completely responsible for everything they could throw the book at him like at this or it could be nothing at the same time and there's just no kind of way to the, laws are weird around this kind of stuff right there, there's so much subjectivity built into it yeah they just use that to open the thing and then they move yeah. on to the ED complaints about uh, money laundering and money Correct. transference yeah. and fera and what have right. you, gambling, right. which is against the law. And that shit's real, right? That shit is yeah, real. That's right? the problem. That probably yeah. is real. Yeah. yeah. So that's the least yes, of his crimes is the bad films which may or may not be porn. Oh, which may or may not. We don't even know. Maybe just like yeah. people, if, yeah. But they're really in India, they're not clear what is porn. They, they, they won't come up with, you know, like in America, it's penetration or whatever, it's clear. No, but it's this not. Is porn. Yeah. You cross this. The, the, <laughs> stand, no, the standard for porn in America is I know it when I see it. Oh. Oh. Really? Can you that's like that the no, no, I mean, I mean, like that's uh, it's like a famous Supreme Court judgment that happened over uh, in the U.S., right? Oh. <clears throat> that uh, we may not this. be able, we may not be able to identify pornography objectively, but we know it when we see it. Right, interesting. Okay. Wow. Mean? But but what what is that? So, so Isn't that also like individual? Uh, but again, over here, pornography has it's completely legal everywhere in the country to produce, to consume. Everything is legal. There's no kind of sense of it. Uh, what I'm talking about is just a. Uh, well, again, where, 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 where is it legal? Where is it in legal? America? In, in, in America. America. In 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 America. <laughs> no, but, but, but I mean, like, the greats that went before. Huh. <laughs> no, it's all Amit is basically be, telling right? us. Uh, Amit is basically telling us why he's up so early because it's legal, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Amit, when you say I bring four comedians on the show and Amit gives us a serious lecture on pornography, <laughs> he's killed <laughs> pornography for me. No, he's bought <laughs> pornography for my four comedians. <laughs> Nobody wants to talk about the subject ever again because of the bloody Supreme Court judgment that he only he remembers and knows. Oh, no, but the, so the, you I know it when I see it is such an Indian thing. Like it sounds yeah. like an Indian thing. Like, it, 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 I know. Uh-huh. <laughs> but in the, that oh, degree also keeps changing depending on the amount of porn you've been subjected to in life also, mm-hmm. right? It, it yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some guy, you know what I mean? Uh, like, yeah, yeah. In the start, uh, holding hands was porn and then now it's just yeah. like this next level. <laughs> yes, pe- yeah. For some people, it'll be like, oh, dude, this was porn, man. This is more than I've had in years. Yeah. And for some like seasoned viewers with terabytes of shit, like they viewed the yeah. this is a cuddle. Who we are and prejudice, I'm sure it'll be like, this porn is allowed, but gay porn, not allowed. Midget porn allowed, <laughs> but uh, triple porn, not allowed. You know, it's, right. There's no end. Where is BJP yeah. when we should be doing a probe? <laughs> I like your choice of words <laughs> and timing. <laughs> I think Kunal Rao is back in full form. <laughs> we should restart the show. He's awake. He's on he's fire. Ready to he's on fire. He's on fire. <laughs> you were very quiet during the whole Pegasus conversation, but this pawn yeah, shit. Was <laughs> <lost> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Reborn. Oh, lost huh? is a good yeah, we have a child, doctor. <laughs> yeah, I got an hour ready. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you do your bit now, Kunal. We all use the toilet for yeah. five minutes. Just start pacing <laughs> up and down. Camera following you. Drop the mic up and then we'll continue. Up and down is this way. <laughs> well, oh, okay, yeah. we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. <laughs> 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 Listen, 
Don't don't take shots. I love like, the headphones. So, ah, like it's I, got I, like, like it's got its own subject. lighting and it's got its own me, like uh, personality and all in the mm-hmm. headphones. He looks like a pilot, no? In the old yeah, days, the pilots would have those that kind of paraphernalia on their face. These were gifted to uh, me yesterday after much uh, screaming. No, 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 no. You don't have to tell us that. We Jose, know you want to spend your money. Jose Kovaco. Jose gave it to me. Jose gave it to me. Jose Kovaco is a tech genius and he has given yeah. me these headphones and they are just insanely good man what are they, they called the little uh, the logitech headphones and the amount we promoted logitech they should be giving us everything for shit free <laughs> and it's just shocking is all of true? us have bought them but they really true? Jose steals from the church collections i heard these kind of stories <laughs> you know when the box comes and he's the guy who puts his hand in his i'll take that <laughs> i would i would say he has the te- he he has all the want and desire to do stuff like that but he's so lazy that the yeah. fact that he may have to walk to church or just get out of his house <laughs> be like let me just sit here and morning mass is out of the question <laughs> that hasn't moved from his chair in a decade yeah. he's just I mean, been there he's been, he, he's the only person who had zero reaction to lockdown He was like, yeah. oh, <laughs> "What's my? Yeah, I went to the office. Nothing. Everyone said, 'I haven't been out in a year.' He's like, 'Yeah, no big deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hate <laughs> people. I don't need to get out.' He had no reaction. Really Nothing changed in his life. Weird people ever. Really? <clears throat> yeah, it's like a What collection of, yeah. of, of like all kind of mental disabilities, like just somehow functioning. <laughs> Ranveer is the only person who is almost normal, and if you met him, I mean, yeah. that's really a stretch. Really. He's got the other problem. He can't sit indoors. Like he's just always, <laughs> always roaming and creating tasks. Nice. I mean, he's a huge basketball uh, buff, by the way. I know. I know. Crazy. We're very good at. We're trying to do some stuff. Uh, we're we're working yeah. on trying to figure out some stuff there. You should. I got him to do a podcast on basketball as well. If it's well, such a big game. I think is, his brother also, Harman also does a lot of stuff. Uh, he does, uh, and he's really good at it. Mm-hmm. He's a good I'm, guy. I'm glad we're using this podcast to promote the careers of other out of work actors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you and me together, yeah. we can do something for our own people. And this is how yeah. the Parsi is destroying themselves, yeah. and helping yeah. others. What is this? A whole, Focus whole on evening. Keyboard. Yeah, promoting a brother gang who are yes. doing fine. Yeah. Yes, but, but uh, he's got a limp. He's got people. a limp, right? He's got a limp, so he can't really Who, play. And then he's got a one brother's got a limp, and the other's got a lisp. So, <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. Dude, this is true. I withdraw my laughter when it's soccer. I have no idea. Something is wrong. In the PC world we live in, withdraw. He's got great intent, but uh, the boy stutters. You know, it's a difficult. Concept. You feel like I've heard the same podcast twice. <laughs> Like, I remember him saying like bounce the ball, bounce, bounce, bounce the ball. I thought it was a sort of a remix version of the podcast. Like Alexander, a leader of men, you know, you give a speech and you're going to stammer through it. We will, we will, we will, we will we'll, we'll kill them. This is a horrible place to be. <laughs> Marshaling the troops up. Colonel, you. I recently, Ouch. not too long ago, uh, came across a dog that stutters, bro. That was insane. Wow. Uh, and and it's Which like end were you thing. listening to? Like, yeah. <laughs> No, it was a. It was like a bow, 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 bow. It was a box stuff. Was, I'm yeah, stuttering. We don't chat. I don't. I don't. What barking. else are you doing with the dog? Like it's not. It's, <laughs> yes. it's not barking. What I'm not. What are we discussing? Shit, having long chats. It's usually a going back to porn. <laughs> <laughs> the same world, the heavenly world of porn. Yeah. Which is like, hey, well, the Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah there is a, a, there, there is another interesting porn story. There is another oh, interesting oh. porn story that has come. We're not moving on from uh, this. Okay. I see you've done so, your work today. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yeah. I did all Keep my research. Balance out your interest. What is on the the off the path? Go on. All right. Uh, so online fraudsters have come up with this new scheme where, so basically, uh, these online fraudsters have just been caught who were scamming people. Uh, at, they scammed people with a total of about thirty lakh rupees, taking three thousand rupees per person. Okay. What they would do is they would a uh, push a pop up notification on your device okay say your phone or your computer where you are consuming porn okay and the notification would say hey you've been caught watching porn and so uh, you have to now pay 3000 rupees so as not to have legal actions being taken against you this is happening in india okay uh, because so people are scared and they like and then there's a upi number attached you know okay so uh, then these people send this uh, send this amount and these people have been doing this throughout like for a long time and 30 lakhs 
is what they wow. got caught with by the end of it. How much was the and fine? The per, per, per view, how much do you think they charge? As a fine? <laughs> <laughs> if it's, if it's a three thousand rupee fine, then like what twenty paisa per view, twenty five paisa per view in the last month, or something like that. <laughs> if, you, if you do illegal parking, it's two hundred rupees, okay? Uh, and I think speeding is thousand rupees. So you would think that porn is somewhere between the two. Watching porn is yeah. between the two, or is it more? I, I think oh, below yeah. low parking here. Uh, Illegal parking. Illegal parking destroys somebody else's peace of mind. Somebody else. You know, you're watching porn. It, it would be some you know. some really hideous visuals, right? Because like the camera would be sort of shaking <laughs> some fucker's <laughs> nostril, right? It's not like my, my problem. Actually, is that, access but, that uh, shit, right? No, but what about us? People like us, where it just keeps buffering and doesn't open properly, or opens for a couple of <laughs> seconds and shuts again. So what do you want? Grand for what? You know. Why? <laughs> Yeah. Bang Brothers yeah. presents, and that's it. That's all I got, and the three grand. You know, it's, it means all the time. Ask them. But, my Wi-Fi is crap. But why are you in 1990? Like you're waiting for 11 minutes for the face to download. Not blackout printout. Not blackout printout. printout. <laughs> reach out and do something with their lives, but this looks like they're staying here. Oh, but this is 400 bucks, huh? Why do I use 400 bucks, man? We went to chicken no. center and you didn't pay back in I about 2000. Pay. Uh, you, you never it's called a treat, bro. Punal paid, Punal paid, but in a sense, uh, you know. You can't call people over for dinner. Like, uh, Ramesh. <laughs> <laughs> How much I you never call you, Ramesh. Man? Stop that accusation. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Amit, I don't know if you know Sao at all, but he's as cheap as I am, if not worse. Huh? He's uh, no, like, no, I'm... fantastic at doing the whole act about the money and all that, where hands go dude, to the pocket. Are you mad? I'm so not even in the same league. <laughs> I'm not even in the same league. Listen, dude, I, I'll say this, right? One difference I can definitely see is at least Sao buys his own clothes. Right, that we can yeah. see. Right, oh, he loves clothes. <laughs> <though. Yeah. laughs> we, we can see that. Differences. Right. So, and he probably has a cleaner mask. He's a know, you know what's but you know what's really sad is that the fact that Amit said I buy my own clothes and this is the one time that I stole this from a shoe. It's just, it's like, life is just like, no, not really. I don't say like, one time. This is a show that stays. This is from a shoe. My headphones later. are from Don't say Jose. one time. Every single person you work with will come after you. What are you saying? He'd walk out with the clothes on. It's his famous no, soccer no, act. Okay, become, done. No, so, All right. And he's gone. I'm six win. three, bro. Should, Nobody is gonna like, fit into this shit. So no. it's like a. It's I'm using that's this true. stuff. Who else is gonna wear there this? There are a couple. Yeah, like, there are a couple of aging females, but other than that, yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so Antriksh, what is the deal? You keep giving us like crazy information. He's lost interest insane. in the show, Sao. He's gone now. We don't have him anymore. There's, there's, there's more. Shit. There's more related to these. There's more related to these online frauds. There's one more mm -hmm. new study that has come out, which has said that more Indians fall prey to online fraud than anywhere else in the world. And uh, millennials really? suffer the most. Online all yeah. the time. <clears throat> Wasn't there an actor more Indian recently? than any other community in the world? That's why. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but dude, some of it is so badly done. How do you fall for that shit? Like I was reading like a couple of years ago, something there was an actor who put 30 lakhs into this uh, fund or something where it could become a million, some Nigerian company and stuff like that. And I'm like, dude, you put Who's 30 lakhs into this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah correct. Remember. So uh, you, you uh, put it on the net. Was it the one? Put it out. Yeah, I remember who it was. He, like he, he, he gave him like yeah. 15 lakhs, I think. And then the he, he was supposed to get a return of like some 200 crores or something from Dubai. Was that the one you're talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, bought, yeah. he bought the deal where 15 he, lakhs becomes yeah. 200 crores. And so, then so, he was really dude, upset this is, this and he said they have not called yeah. me back or answered my phone. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So this is the <laughs> more of an this emotional is the case that I remember. This is the case that I remember. What 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 Sahu is talking about, I think, is that uh there was this person yeah. who got a call, uh, who was ch chatting with someone in Dubai. And the person yeah. in Dubai said, okay, hey man, uh, you know, I know of someone who just died and has left me all this money, 200 crore worth money, 200 crore right. rupees worth wow. of money. Okay. And yeah. this guy's like, okay, so what do I do to get in, get in on the action? He's like, I'll give you half. You just have to give me like this much down payment to like for the legal work and all, and all that shit. This guy like sends him right. that, that money, right? So it's like 1.25 lakhs or something upfront. And then like a lakh later, six months later. Right. So this is going on for the last three years or something. This so finally they're like, dude, this is enough. Yeah. This is your standard Nigerian uh, scam, right? I need yeah, the legal yeah. piece. Hmm. Right. Wow. Yeah. And then then he was very hurt, not about the money, but about the fact that the guy wasn't <laughs> taking his calls. <laughs> it, was, like, it was like a relationship <laughs> now. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But I, I think we're credulous across all kinds of things, right? It's not just the money thing, right? Even the WhatsApp forwards and stuff like that. We'll just like credulously people believe it, right? I mean, like, I think oh, it's that happened to me. <clears throat> happened to me recently. What? Oh, uh, nice. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, a friend of mine, some information. <laughs> 
Yeah, basically. Yes. I'm so the study, afraid. basically, yeah, I'm a statistic guy. Same guy. That's the problem. Go on, go on. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I, I randomly, I, I, there's, there's a friend of mine called, uh, her name is Shruti, whatever. And uh, <laughs> Shruti, I have been talking really to her. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I'm interested in Shruti. What's your <laughs> just a friend, just a school friend. No, no, no. Like, literally, I haven't talked to her in like eight years or something. Were you okay? dating her? Like a school friend. No, 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 like, nothing. Just fr- fr- friendship. We were like in the same friend circle. Yeah, yeah, basically. Not even so, friendship, just like regular friendship. And, you took Shruti's uh, money and ran eight years ago. Correct. And she finally caught up to me. called Sharat. Because of all this pain, go on. So <laughs> I just randomly, story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I randomly get a, a WhatsApp message from Shruti. Okay, so uh, what's the message from Shruti? Go, after like eight years or something, I'm not talking. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Hey, I'm so sorry. I don't know how this happened. I randomly, uh, no, no. I, I sent you an OTP by mistake. Uh, can you please send it back to me? Uh, so I'm like, I, I was like busy in the middle of the day and all, like uh, whatever, all, so much work going on. Doing whatever. And, uh, so busy, I just busy comedians do. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, correct. And. So I like immediately, I'm not even thinking about it. I immediately replied what the OTP was. And then after like two, three minutes after that, I'm like thinking, why did I just do that? So then I asked like, hey, is this Shruti only? Because firstly, you trust WhatsApp a little bit more, right? If it's like random text and all, nobody yeah. uses SMSs. I got a message on WhatsApp thinking it's my friend. So I didn't even question it much. So I just sent it back to her. So was there an OTP that that person sent you in the chat just before that? Yeah, I, no, just before that, I no, not in the chat, uh, on my text SMS, I got a, uh, I got oh. uh, an OTP. Ah. What was it? You got nothing else. There was no pre. Huh? No, but, but yeah. watch it. There's something seriously no, wrong he... here, Antarik. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, because, that's what, I, that's what he's yes. explaining. He, it was a Yeah, scam. so no, so what, what, what actually happened was, uh, Shruti's phone had been hacked uh, oh. by a person like two oh, days before. And shit. she was locked out of her WhatsApp for like seven hours that day. So okay. that means someone else possibly was using her WhatsApp or something like that. And that's okay. how they were able to get in touch with me. And okay. uh, the same thing happened. And the next day, my WhatsApp, uh, I wasn't able to sign from, to my okay. WhatsApp for seven hours. So I think what they are looking for is like, if you've ever <clears throat> mentioned your account numbers and your pins and all that, luckily Holy I had shit. not on WhatsApp. Yeah. Holy but I think shit. that's what they're looking one, one for. One sec, one sec. How are they sending you an OTP for something? I only mentioned that. What, yeah. what, 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 what is the OTP that was sent to you? Was it sent from yeah. from Because I mean, this has to be something. Bank account? Just... Was it a yeah. was it an Amazon Amazon uh, delivery service? I, what yeah. I, I remember this. I'll just uh, go into the chat if you guys just give me a wow. second. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, watching the show, investigative journalism at its best. We go <laughs> right. Yeah. We, into we go the heart of the devil and we will gorge out the truth here. Please, right. And this uh, is uh, a if you're lying, first. just keep it yeah. just keep it away from the camera so we can't really tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, for scam. I mean not your scam, but you know the scam uh, that you have been subjected to. Have you and checked you're your right. right. You're maybe all the way engineer. Checking checking twenty uh, second it says twenty second oh. December. Uh there it is. Okay. We are glad. Uh your WhatsApp code. Yeah, this is the, the thing I got. Your WhatsApp code eight six nine eight four four. You can also tap on this link oh. to verify your phone. That's oh, the one shit. I got. So, so they yeah. basically they took your WhatsApp over through that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Right. I, I, I didn't even bother to this thing. Like, I this, is like what this, happens. Happens. this is what happened. Yeah. So once you get yeah. your WhatsApp code, they can hack into your can, WhatsApp and, then and look, look at all your messages. Yeah. And look at all your messages yeah. and stuff, right? Okay. What, what about yeah. what about the scam where they say you won this Maruti eight hundred or something and one million pounds and all that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shit, man! All of it's a lie, huh? There's nothing real. <laughs> We've reached a point Who's where if you out? actually win some shit, you'll be so skeptical about yeah. it. You won't tell you should it. celebrate. That is so true. Because it's, it's there on paper. I was born unlucky. <laughs> hey, right. Let's take a break. It's 9 o'clock in the evening. Uh, yeah. Are we ready for our break, Silvery? Yes, we are. It's 9 o'clock Still in the break evening. break with the two stalwarts. No, no, he's talking now. It's 6.30. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Right. <laughs> this is the exaggerated The show has a break. Yeah. truth. The break it is this. Just, yeah, this is the break. Over break now. Is not break. Over. That was, the break is oh. dead to word break for us. Literally. Oh, that was the lamest break I've ever come across in my life. <laughs> <laughs> the lamest Cyrus break is when like, they say, hi friends, we'll be back <laughs> after the break. That's the lamest Cyrus break. Was, uh, just break. Haukar was just but, thinking, wait, uh, Baba ke liye juice leke aao jaldi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He loves his break. He's going to go in the pool of Kunal. He has to go back to hair and makeup. Yeah. 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 Lie down. Don't forget. Lie down. Those days are gone. Wait. Almost 24 hours the way he was. Yes, the good old shoot up. life. <laughs> hey, but, uh, but you've never gotten scammed on anything, Brocha. 
ever in your life like any of these deals Abba, or anything? I'm so technologically challenged mm. that it, I, yeah. I, my lack of knowledge they, defeats they, the purpose. Yeah, they have to explain it to things. you. I have yeah, to buy. Like, yeah, that's what. They'll be yeah, like, okay, they'll be like, we'll take your money. This. We're lying to you. We'll be right down. If it right works, now. for for them, it's got to be cash on delivery from me. Otherwise, it's just not working. <laughs> Waste of time. Yeah. Please don't tell Amit and Silvery about that. Amit's been in therapy. <laughs> You know, <laughs> he's he spent money on laptops, <clears throat> on Wi-Fi. He's called people in in the business to but, help him. It's, been, it's horrible. And I live but, next to the chief minister. I should have the best Wi-Fi. Yeah. Well, well, I don't know why you don't not. have good Wi-Fi. It's shocking. But strange shit is happening every day, man. Huh? Every day in the world, some bizarre news or the other. The other day, I was reading about this woman in Himachal, and mm. uh, she uh, was married. and she she married twice she took all the money from her from so so basically this it came from the woman who got divorced she said my husband is somebody who beats me up and then takes all my money and now has run away and is living with another woman right and when they went there they realized that the husband was not a husband at all these people were married for 3 years it was another woman posing as a man oh wow and a scam oh Yeah, she didn't know her husband was a man. No, and they would. He would refuse to have he, she, whatever would refuse to have sex and say that I don't like it. But you can use toys, uh, and I would like to sleep on this side of the bed. Your fantasy, bro. So it was in the newspaper. <laughs> look it up. Look it up. Look it up. And how uh, can she be her... so stupid not to know that the person she's supposed to engage with is of another gender? I mean, that's too much. It's possible, it's, yeah. You can't. It's, it's happened. It happened. and uh, uh, i'm just going to i'm going to google and tell you right now it happened bro it was all over and then he would just take the money and the, that's not the freaky part the freaky part is he got she got two women to fall in love with her thinking she's that she's a man and never figure this shit out at all wow at all it's crazy in himachal that's next level she psycho must, shit bro which i she may be posing as a man but she must be one ugly woman I mean, dude it is just thinking just you know no, the, the, <laughs> The picture was also there. It was like hideous at both levels. It didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that, Marlon Brando and Montgomery Cliff sharing was, a conversation. It was, it was just this. a very unnerving. It was very. Un- But listen, you, you, you know, you've Roja, to- you've read so much history. Like I remember, you have such great freaking knowledge on history. This shit. Have you never read a, a crazy story from history which happened to someone really famous, um, th- where they got scammed, like someone very popular or someone very famous? There are a lot of those in the history, I, if I remember correctly. Uh, uh, India got scammed by the East India Company. That happened. Or <laughs> the East, or the East India Company got scammed by India because they thought, ah, this is nice <laughs> yeah, and cool, a great yeah. place to hang. <laughs> Next thing you know, <laughs> disease, dengue, and Punjabi accents in South Hall. Who caused that? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Punjabi uh, in South Hall is just our revenge against East India Company. <laughs> I love hearing. I just love hearing Punjabi twang or Gujarati twang in the middle of London, which is now it's so great. well. It's now we can't go, so yeah, it's just lovely. It's like we've taken All over. All right, sir. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. Exactly All that. Right. It's half half. I love it. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Every, All the girls are slower. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you settle in England if you had a chance? Just to teach them a lesson. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not sure. I have never been. I've never been to London. I've never been to England. What? Never really? Like, it's just always gets scanned. Uh, uh, so I actually don't know what it feels like to be there. Weren't you an air hostess in L L or something for two years? Yeah, but we never got off the flight. We never got yeah, off the flight. That's true. <laughs> Weapons training and all that. Yeah, <laughs> shooting the odd customer. Yeah. With waiting in the plane less. for seven right. days. <laughs> that was part of the deal. So I don't know. I don't know if I would move. Would you? Would you move? Any of you? I uh, no. everybody. Should. I lived. I actually lived in London for two years just so I can get back the money that they tried that in that <laughs> UK stole from India. Yeah. No, the first thing I did. The first thing I did was to go to the tower, uh, the Tower Hill, whatever, where the Kohinoor is kept, and I just did like six rounds of that place just to see if there's an opportunity to get that Kohinoor mm-hmm. back. I'm gonna try and, and steal it. No, but you scream. This is my shit. This is ours. Give it this back. Did, shit, you tell, yeah. did you tell? Did you tell your Desi? Huh. Yeah. I also found out that the Kohinoor is not the biggest diamond. There was one next to that they sold from South Africa that's even bigger, and I'm like, oh wait, yeah, was... somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But India, yeah, I think, I think it was the it was the color or something which was mind blowing. It was like a bluish. There thing was some, yeah. There, it's a, supposed to be a prettier diamond. But did you explain? Like did you explain to all the tourists that Kohinoor is not a condom? Because many yeah. of them would have been really confused. <laughs> Or a basmati <laughs> rice. <laughs> like it's not a chawal. You spoil that beautiful name. Nobody knows it's a diamond. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but I, did, you, did you visit? Did you visit? Vijay? But I felt that I felt I felt like that in the, the Louvre also, man. Louvre is my yeah, right? right? Dude, everything yeah. is from fast, somewhere like else. Maria, how Maria does yeah. Hindi? Just say it fast. Louvre. Nobody knows. Uh, Louvre. <laughs> Maria no, was, uh, 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 I really like the Louvre. Uh, Louvre. Uh, Louvre. But Louvre. everything was Louvre. either from Africa or from some other part. Yeah, it was yeah. like a go down. It was like a go down of stolen gold. There was nothing. <laughs> yeah. which was, I love it. Like, what is it's your great racist and, philosophy without no, it was. to be racist? Bro, <laughs> yeah. I had a uh, proper two-hour tour. It's never it doesn't end that damn it just, just goes on and on. One whole room was telling just me that was my honeymoon. Was like, and all my wife wanted so to look at was fat women on paintings. I mean, one was fatter than the next. And, <laughs> and then Mona Lisa was Mona Lisa. I was like, oh, I can't believe that. She's she's so so I mean, she won't even make she won't yeah. even win she's, Miss Lower Perel today. No, really? Not, no, I mean, even if her dad was sponsoring that shit. No, she was quite a she must be a lovely person. And, and all that, but Yo, like nobody that. wins contests for personality. <laughs> That's all a joke. There's nothing there. You can say anything. Haven't you seen a Miss India contest? Dude, you just and save I must the say, the poor or the children or whatever, and you win. I've come to realize in life, like people will do. If once they've made a mistake, right, they will do everything to just safeguard that mistake. Like all of us climbed, we stood in line for like five hours. And then we stared at this disappointingly small painting, <laughs> right? So yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah. And then this guy's yeah, like, look behind Mona Lisa and you can see two clouds and there's a ship going. And the whole 500 people are like, oh, oh, oh. And so pointing. Because that's all we had to hold on to after the three hours of like, <laughs> with protecting. Yeah, and also if amazing. you look to the right, also if you look to the right side on the wall, right next to Mona Lisa, there's one Rahul loves Reshma. <laughs> in the back. <laughs> And well, hello, you may be right because Rahul is of Italian descent. So there is something there. It's very yeah, possible. Sure. Many, many but apparently, years ago. maybe uh, yes? did, uh, some people say Da Vinci painted himself as a woman or something. No, it's true? A true. They say it's no, a no, man it... uh, uh, being hidden as a woman or something like that to hide. Uh, I, so no, I thought the Himachal story, in, Himachal story in, again. Himachal story, yeah, we, oh, that's it. This is how the world is just one circle. <laughs> oh, you brought it all together. A real poet Great philosopher time. today, Saukar. Love yeah, yeah, he's really no a philosopher. I have, I have no idea how we reached here. How we get. I... Oh, Dr. you weaved your magic, my friend. You, we were discussing your head. Head. Welcome, welcome to Cyrus Says. <laughs> That's what happens at the end of every episode. We have no idea how we reach here. <laughs> we, we provide the bull and well, we leave the rest to you. Hey, but Brocha, you must be an interesting guy to roam around with because you like history, man. So you must be knowing shit. I don't leave the house. I only walk no, the dogs you, and I come right when back. You, whenever, you, whenever you step out, like, Where do I, you'll go? Be, I feel like you'll be the guy like this is the Coliseum and you'll be like, oh yeah, but you know, look at this pillar. This is some guy's she pillar. She made this. me march more than the Nazis in France. All right. <laughs> we Everywhere by foot. I was in so much pain. I, I can't tell I love you because it. I never walked I can't in my believe life. You don't. And it was my Every city. Dude, you don't every understand. City I go Paris to, is all I, about uphill and downhill. All the steeples look the same. All the paintings look the same. No, but, but you, you were I really like that Muse Dorsey, really... bro. That Muse Dorsey was great. Uh, there were only like 10 paintings. I, I understood shit. I didn't feel like it was all stolen you know, stuff. The worst from part about France Pana. is everybody speaks in French. That's really yeah. horrible. Because and they, and they, you just yeah. can't have a conversation. Yeah, and they don't help. Also, like, honestly, I'm... as a vegetarian, eating in France is rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. <you> know, <laughs> I can imagine. It is. But it's yeah. have you been to Croatia? You, but you could have the sauces. I haven't been to Croatia. The bread and the sauces. I always thought that that works yeah, nicely. Because sort of one. But I've, have you guys always when you go to Europe and all do you sign up for those walking tours? The first. Yeah, yeah, that's the like best. That's the yeah. only thing to do. Honestly, I, I go way. to hop on, hop off. I love hop on, hop off. You're a hop on, hop off guy. I like the walking part. Yeah, yeah. I prefer the walking I, tours for sure. You all are talking yeah, about love, all these it. things which are free. When you're married, it's not that simple. Please understand. No, no. Okay, married I'm people are going for walking. Who wants to stay in a five-star hotel, and she's a leftist who wants to walk with a backpack up and down for hours at a time and never come home. And <laughs> what do you do? do? And lunch. Lunch may or may not happen. I wake up and I think of lunch, and I want to go to Brocha, the sauna. if there was Brocha, if there was ever a uh, within the gymnasium tour, you would do it. That's for sure. All right. It's just that it's outside. <laughs> <laughs> So those little things, all those little things that make it worthwhile the holiday. Uh, of course, in Europe, how oh, you're right because the weather is good enough, so you don't feel sick. But anywhere else in the world, how much can you walk? It's very painful. Dude, yeah. I did, I, I did like two walking. walking tours. I one one I did alone, and then I did with the same person. And you know they've got like oh, a, a full, alone. it's like a stand-up set. They've got jokes and yeah. shit. And they come yeah. up with yeah. stuff. Yeah. But the second time is like a bad, it's like hearing the same thing it, over and over and over. Dude, yeah. Brocha, you should do this in Bombay, man. You should create dude, a little dude. walking tour, tour yeah. like you start from, say, whatever, High oh. Court or whatever, and walk through, okay. take the whole of South Bombay. 
Because it's like, like racism. Racism. nobody's doing it. That nobody's bad with me. I am a motor car driver who hates walkers and pedestrians. Okay, <laughs> early morning, these guys on cycles and walkers and runners, they're the people I hate the most. And every you should day, get a sick fantasy. I, I don't have yeah, sexual fantasies now. Bro, I have fantasies of running them over. Brocha should do a segue tour and, and then the, what will happen is he'll keep talking and going and people will just get their space from you. <laughs> and, the headphones. <laughs> and you can wear the same headphones. And just roaming. What can lead them into the sea? Up. You can. You what can, can lead them into the sea? Oh, Dude, that'd be beautiful. In, It'd be the opposite Berlin. of Moses. I take them into the sea and they all drown. That's it. <laughs> Next man. In oh, Berlin, so I had, happy, they had this six-hour walking tour. Stop and going off about how far you've gone. I'm just making yeah. up for that humiliating. I've never been to London conversation. He's in Pawai for two years. <laughs> you mean bastard. Two years in Pawai. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a leg. And police arrest me. <laughs> no, Hiran and Dani pillars, bro. Every picture is that Hiran and Dani. <laughs> but this Sais, yeah, could you lower your mic, please? Sais, can you lower your mic? Uh, yeah. Ouch. Got excited there. Yeah. What happened to our show? We were hijacked by this yeah, yeah. guy and Kural Rao. So, huh. we have one quick, uh, more, one more quick story and then we can get to the AMAs. The other, other quick story is that uh, Me- Olymp- Indian Olympian weightlifter Mirabai Chanu, uh, yeah, she won. Listen, I didn't know. That's not uh, breaking what? news. Just, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, go on. <laughs> so, she I won the silver medal for India. How sweet. What person in a coma is watching this show wakes up and says, What? Silver medal? <laughs> <Excellent>. <laughs> okay, yeah. So she and won she the silver medal. And, and yeah, so basically, like uh, someone asked her, like uh, uh, like as a p- p- post interview, uh, so what are you going to do now? Yeah, and she was like, I, I'm just, I can't wait to have a pizza. And Domino's jumped up at the occasion. So you like, and right. they were like, We're going to give you free pizzas for life. For life. Yeah. For so he life. got publicity for in every life. language, in every yeah. paper, yeah. in yeah. bloody yeah. India, across the country. Yeah. And yeah. all they could give is yeah. one pizza yeah. instead of like a five up. contract. They landed up. They landed up. And uh, the minute she got there, yeah, at her house. They had this, and there's this awkward picture where this guy's like looking like the exorcist because <laughs> her, yeah. she's here. The pizza's here, but he, the cameraman was here, so he's turned his entire head. <laughs> I've never seen that, that shit happen. Like, and, like, and, then it, and then it happened across all the neighborhoods because it was like the domino yeah. effect. Yeah. The same thing yeah. throughout. Oh, <laughs> 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 Listen, listen, you guys are not saying anything. This poor woman has, you know, probably wouldn't be our one big medal no. at the moment. Nothing else is working. No, but I, I agree with you. All. I think it's fascinating. She's worked so hard. She's been on this strict diet like all her life just so she can win this medal. And of all the things people are gifting her pizza, that's the last thing in the world you should be giving her. Why isn't yeah. there a sponsorship for protein shake? You know, unlimited protein yeah. shake hey, for the rest of the world. That makes what sense. Are the, what are the five girls in yeah. the academy and, and the ground yeah. that was given to the normal path breakers uh, like Maleshwari, etc.? No, really pizza. This, Literally, dude, it's like giving pizza a free shit. pizza for the rest of her life is like giving a runner free Marlboro lights for the rest of their life. Who cares? <laughs> no, no, but there's a loophole. The loophole is is it only for her or can she just randomly order as much as she wants for anyone? It's only for her. I, I, I was saying that I'm that not so able to. So you're yeah. telling me this? Her Indian entire Indian family Indian. is sitting around. Oh, Indian. And it's yeah, only yeah, her yeah. pizza that she can eat. Like there's a Domino's ice cream. You can't give it to your father. You can't. You, you, also, I'm pretty sure <laughs> that she's like a. Isn't she like a fitness? Obviously, she's a fitness freak, right? Because she's. Isn't she like, like a fitness freak, bro? She combined weight with 202 kgs, uh, the clean and press and the snatch and jerk. Try that, brother. Yeah. We can't do yeah. it. She is a, she is a machine. She's not even. She's a machine, bro. Yeah. Okay, but let's hey, imagine her, her, her wedding. I, I at her wedding, she's gonna have free. This pizza that's gonna be all, that's all you get the that's pizza what, that the entire so, so, so Antarish, that's yeah, the loophole so that we should free? Go call her up, right? Yeah. If it's only for her, that's really sad because then that's like no, one pizza I, and then yeah, that no, is no, true. You're not seeing the other side of it. Yeah. This is gonna uh, attack uh, the entire subculture of weightlifting because the kid is trying to lift weights and do well, and uh, the father will go the other way around. You come up and say, "Dad, can I have a pizza?" No, go to the gym. Win a medal for <laughs> dude, India. Dude, <laughs> check this out. This could probably be free. Yeah, this could probably be the best story a year down, right? The fact that they gave her free pizza, she starts eating the pizza and gets like unfit it's about really this bad. stuff. Yeah, it could be. Uh, you know, you know, stop do we have a big foot in? I mean, do we have a big foot? Do we have the big ones, whatever those six footers and all in India? I don't think I've seen what that. I mean, like the large, uh, basically the super large pizzas. 
Oh, the 14 so inch wala. Yeah. Hai. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. More, more like 20 inches. Oh, I the don't 20. describe it really big. Yeah. We're still, we're still yeah. talking pizza. I think so, yes. Well, pizza is awesome. Yeah. Like the metal meant nothing. The, the, the metal meant nothing. Across the pizza is everything. We've, that's, that's what we're trying to project here. Uh, uh, what do you guys think of Domino's hijacking the uh, the thing though, right? I mean, like they basically yeah, made this yeah, into yeah. a marketing event. Yeah, so they have got did. such it's great publicity for 72 hours yeah. across the length and breadth of India yeah. in every language. This is not just this yeah. bigger than a film or cricket. But you know, it's I actually read recently I... that Domino's also started filling up potholes in various parts of the country and putting a Domino stamp on the pothole saying that we did this and like for free publicity. Really? And if you fall through, that's not a bad thing. Yeah, do, they have, bad do they have their logo yeah. on your vaccination certificate too? I don't know. I better check. Maybe uh, that's uh, what we've been getting, just tomato sauce in our blood straight <laughs> I'm on resident 50% off. <laughs> Those yeah. kind of things. Yeah. But have you ever cracked a Domino's pizza like which has come late? Like, did you get a free pizza? Have you ever done that? I've never had that. No, I didn't. Never I feel bad it. because you not, always look so pathetic not. when they deliver it. Yeah, you know, you get feel unhappy. bad taking yeah. a. Yeah. The guy looks like his life is going to end in five minutes anyway. Honestly, I don't even eat pizza. Domino's now because ever since I heard about the 30 minutes netto free, I knew that they were already ready made pizzas that are being sent to me, just quickly heated up in the oven. I'm like, it doesn't even taste good, it's awful. Good yeah, right. assembled from scratch. I've never though. been hungry then. It's yeah, they, I have been hungry. I have still chosen to have protein shake. <laughs> yes, I have ah. eaten vegetarian food. Have, do you understand? Yeah. You have no idea. Yeah. Cyrus, I have seen but, you know, with your plate of 12 egg whites every morning. I have seen that. Okay, so don't yes, tell me nice. that you eat vegetarian food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell, him, tell him when we shoot in bloody uh, middle of Panvel or something, the kind of caterers that they bring on board. Tell him what we've oh, seen. Yeah. Those this is like a collage of color. Yeah. That's it. You yeah. will fry it on someone's head. <laughs> It's like and you, you know, take Domino's in a heartbeat when out there when they offer you what they offered us. Oh my god, dude, why? But I've had some heartbeat. great times eating a Domino's pizza in my life. Like sometimes yeah. I'm like just like on a shoot and then the Especially because shit. you didn't pay for it. Huh? Uh, yeah. the <laughs> they get you, bro. They <laughs> give you those, those, those sticks with that cheese dip and all that. Holy shit. So I like that Ooh, stuff right. a lot those more than female pizza. Yeah, <laughs> yeah same same misunderstood. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think Domino's will give us free pizza after this? Uh, no, no, not no, after no, what could happen. If we win the Olympics, could, 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 could ruined it for us. Here's what we do. Yes. Here's what we do. We take a couple of small bits about us, you know, thinking about Domino's. We send them that, and ah. we keep this one away. And we, you know, we hope. But you we know hope. what I think okay. would be really good because Domino's gave her this. I feel like a lot of other brands will start sending sending her stuff, and finally, athletes will start getting good shit. You know, which so, they, you deserve, know, uh, they deserve. There was uh, in all like, seriousness, right? Car so, will come her way. Um, Let the wise man speak. Yes, I'm no, no. So, uh, Joy Bhattacharya, do you guys know who that is? Like, you know, old uh, cricket guy. And yeah, so, yeah. he had an article in uh, Economic Times yesterday that he had written yesterday, day before. I don't know dates right now. Uh, but he had, uh, just uh, this week, he put an, uh, this. He was really pissed off about this. Like, really pissed right. off that Domino's did this full thing and is basically taking marketing benefit because, like, all the other organizations that are supporting these athletes, they, the, 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 while they are training and stuff like that, are not getting any kind of uh, recognition exactly. this yeah, those, time. The small and instead, brands and all that have helped. Yeah. Them. And yeah. instead, what's happening is Domino's, that is this huge multinational brand, has done what's a relatively minor gesture for them. They're, she's not even a brand endorsement, right? Uh, yeah. And they've been it's able to kind of pull all the stuff. Out. She and, and what, them, so yeah. And, no, and what but happens in the future? What happens in the future? Hmm. Sorry, no, no, I was just saying, what happens in the future in terms of athletes who are struggling uh, in these smaller sports struggling, right? And they need these small kinds of sponsors to continue participating. It's not like Domino's is going to sponsor every weightlifter in India. No, you're right. So when she got They're the not glory, even the her right now. Time, which she should have got the glory yeah. as well. Yeah. The smaller it's supplement terrible. companies, whoever, sorry, mm -hmm. who helped her. It's 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 yeah, a yeah, tragedy, yeah. and I will deal with it after Pegasus. I'll bring it up with the uh, Lok Sabha <laughs> and I'll make sure that we table this. Please manage. So, bill is passed. Honestly, no, I, I don't. Will be given pizza I, I I don't yeah. agree with Joy Bhattacharya's take on this, but I thought it was a really interesting take. I think that you know, I mean, like no, I agree to some extent. I completely agree. Because they've hijacked good thing. Look but at, I don't look, look at us. We've spent twenty minutes on Dominoes. Yes. And we're yeah. a, we're a show nobody and, wants and we don't look at the, we don't even know ones. what brands we don't even know what brands actually sponsor her because yeah. nobody gets that like you you talk to all these global they sport and OGQ and all these guys are hustling like mad to get like promotion for them yeah. and nobody knows who's supporting yeah, them. Think the windfall is when think, the Indian athlete think. wins the silver that's the, the whole thing is for exactly. that moment and you lost it yeah. and somebody else yeah. has hijacked it yeah. 
So that's quite. So I think we need a Cristiano yeah. Ronaldo to come and just move the Domino's pizza from the table and then right. make them lose like yeah. one crore record. or whatever that market value. Like they won't get along, huh? I mean, he's on this whole spiel about yeah, I don't have cola and junk food, food, and yeah, poor yeah. Mirabai is like one more piece. I still, I, I still think there's more good in it for her than than bad. I think that other brands will also. No, say, there isn't. Is there's nothing good. It's not a Why? sign up. This is just free pizza. It's not money. It's not equipment. It's not. What maybe Kunal. Maybe they will. Let, maybe the they will let her endorse. She doesn't want no, but the thing, thing is, the thing is, the thing, the thing is that other brands will sign on. Exactly. I mean, no, look sir, at the. I look at the still has to pay for delivery. Do you think she's still paying for delivery? No, no. You no. bloody Pawai resident. Possible. You're so finicky about the small things, aren't you? But it's, it's possible that she does. I'm glad you brought it up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, but, but what I, would be really I, messed I, up is. Yeah. You I, mean, I think it's a good thing for her, man, because look at the yeah. look at the lives of athletes, man. They 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 don't get any love, and then they only get attention once they won something. Once they this shit will open up brands, and brands are necessary because what else are you gonna do without the love or the money that brands are giving you, right? So this. I remember when we were at NIS Patiala, uh, 2012 uh, London. Olympics. I was a welterweight boxer, and you were uh, synchronized swimming. Uh, uh, you know the kind of love we got from our supplement. Do you have the speedo that you wore for the high dive? <laughs> uh, it's, 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 it's uh, wear it above my. Uh, it's right above my bed. You, you, framed. You, you use it as a mask. <laughs> I really think synchronized swimmer would be the worst possible job I could be. I could never do worse. For a man, it's a horrible conversation in a cocktail party. Oh, you won a uh, medal in the Olympics? Yes. What do you? Synchronized swimming. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you would be so bad because it's the idea of getting along with other people for more than. And six you would minutes be the best. Actually. I, 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 I would, you in the shower. Would, would be great because he's six foot three and he'll be able to touch the floor and he doesn't need no. to swim. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. you done any work? I'll, I'll tell Saugar, you. Kunal. No, no, Kunal, no way you you. Coordinate anything. I'll tell you the difference in our personalities, right? You I would try. For the, I for would, the bloody contest. I, no, no, you know, I'll turn up on all the rehearsal. I would do it and then I'd mess it up on the last day. Brocha <laughs> would know it perfectly and then just to piss them off. Mess them up. <laughs> <laughs> like the last second, he'll be like, no, I won't. He'll just rebel and piss them off. Yes, so, we, so we are like <laughs> genetically predisposed to completely opposite parts. I want to get on with things, get early and start. And he wants yeah. to I want to linger. come there slowly, have his yeah. moment, yeah. You know, let the ganja yeah. take its effect. And then, so how will we work together? <laughs> Imagine we're in the front two soldiers. They say, you are the yeah. two guys. <laughs> infiltrate yeah. the enemy. I mean, no, we'll start fighting like... with each other. I'll be like, come on. He'll be like, five minutes later, you're like, cigarette, drink, drink, drink. It's exactly the conversation before a take, by the way. Every time. Every oh, time. He's always in a hurry. I, I could never understand why, yeah. why he's... And he's not even happy to go home. So I don't know why he wants to leave. <laughs> you know, it's not like... Because the minute we pack up, he's like, I, oh God, I got to go home now. How do I go home? Oh God. Does anybody have a with me? It's not like he's looking forward <laughs> to that experience either. He Man, just wants to not be where he is. Yes, you. I've never met anybody who does not want to be where he is, but has nowhere better to go. Get on the phone and start walking. And we were shooting in, where the hell were we shooting? Naigao or Panwell or somewhere far away in a farmhouse. He got lost. So we got to call. <laughs> I thought it was they ask him look left, look right, there's no sign, there's nothing. And I'm in drag guys on bike. And he's in drag with a cigarette in his mouth. You know, with the chest there coming out of his boobs. And what happened was what happened was I was talking and walking and I reached a building society and there was something happening in that society. And so they all turned around, just looked at me, children, like the camera was just panning, wives, husbands, and old women. And I'm a six foot five inch uh, six foot like, two and a half a man in drag, with, like yeah. lipstick smudged, and just saying, Where am I? Where am I? So they uh -huh. freaked out. And, and not to be, you know, not to be class conscious, but this was a lower middle class building society, okay? Which is not happy to so see a man with a cigarette. That was a pretty, a woman. That was a pretty class conscious shit thing you said. What is, what, no, uh, as opposed uh, to what, like he's this, also Valkyrie for born. He won't understand the dynamics would, involved. I have to explain. One second. What is After all the white world? abuse, German abuse, French abuse, the Louvre, the museum, the, the East India. I mean, we've, it's a bit late for us now. United yeah. Nations has left the building. We've yeah. got no friends left yeah. at the end of this like point. I will tell tales of Saukar. I've got to remember them before my memory goes completely. I, have I so remember. Many funny I remember so many of you. Yeah. I remember oh, so many God. of you, but 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 Broach, I must say but one thing. I've always wondered when you got lost. How you should have seen our reaction because I was going on. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? And they said, "Who big guy? Who guy?" 
because you couldn't but you become answer. very you no but brocha you become very uh, like i'm so happy to see like with married life and being a dad and all you mellowed out otherwise brocha used to just pick fights with people bro uh film city you were chased he was dressed as a carrot and he's fighting with 16 men hats off the guy's a sociopath but he's brave Right. Well, up to fourteen is acceptable, but the sixteen was a bit too much. I felt. No, they were like. And Sahu was giving a lecture. Screaming. Sahu's idea of fighting. The, he's the Delhi boy. He gives a lecture. He yeah. gives in chase Hindi. He starts talking to these guys who are all Marathi speaking and don't want to hear his language. Firstly, right. that it makes their blood boil even more. <laughs> There's this North Indian bias like, going on in their heads. Yeah. But, oh, but what I love about Brocha is Brocha always also. dressed like carrots or women or, or farmers yeah. or in diapers. <laughs> what life was that, Saukar? How could they humiliate us like that? No, but no, I think this is so another side. Like I think I think Brocha used to also, dude, used to give me these really good uh, pep talks. I somehow used to have a meltdown on stage at all time. I used to all this. And don't you remember? I have, I have, <clears throat> I can't believe, I can't believe how brave you were, bro. I remember Sanjilila Bansali was in the front row. Savaria had just launched, and everyone's like, maybe we shouldn't give you how the brave towel. Was he? Letting the film out. <clears throat> he roams around. He roams around in this towel. After the whole conversation with the creative team, saying maybe we shouldn't do that towel scene because he's a chief guest and all that shit, Brocha suddenly reaches on stage with the towel and all, and then he says, "Who cares? They told me not to wear it, Bansali. But what are you going to launch me? You're not going to launch me. I don't care." He starts waving the towel. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! This guy's lost a brave guy. You don't so know what brave. happened after that. I was called the next day for an audition in a hand towel. <laughs> hey, Brocha, you don't remember this? Uh, you don't remember this really, really freaky story where we were sent on a city cable uh, meeting to Chandigarh together. Uh, so what used to happen Tell was me. that uh, Malaika and people like like these who were the face of the network, they would never <laughs> the go for a city cable. The city. <laughs> no, yeah. they would never send. They would never send. Uh, you know, because they were, the, these they were people, literally gangsters. The, huh? Not they were gangsters. Who ran the city, game. the yeah. cable, the cable operators were like full power gangsters. They not only owned the cable situation in the cities, but they also owned the city, right? Mm -hmm. And so they sent Brocha yeah, yeah, yeah. and me to some part in Chandigarh, and uh, we did the cable meet, and they were very disappointed because they had posters of Malaika everywhere, and then we turned up. So do you, yeah. do you understand? <laughs> that? That much? At least, at least Saukar looks like a bit of a star because he's got that tall height and balls, all that. Balls, bro. Balls. I always balls. look like, I look like some... Think so what was the meet for? Just Why were you meeting them? What was uh, the... What you to pillow them and kill so, them. Uh, you, yeah. Those days, you have to put the cable operators at ease so that they put oh. your stuff on their in their area. So oh. each cable operator, your channel, your channel local comes local 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 local. Key things in the nineties. Without them, we we would fail. This is what MTV did better than Channel V. People think it was the VJs. <laughs> no, this is what they did. Right? <laughs> And then, yeah, we, yeah. then we came and that back. And VJ you know, life was something else only, I realized. Like, something that like this whole generation is not going to like understand at all. Like, uh, have you know, 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 the VJ life stuck? It was painful. <laughs> And he was the best option. <laughs> you, Bro, uh, but God. what you have no idea. Scary. Like I was I was on the first time I was on TV in my life, I was in a three-minute capsule on a show that Brocha used to do called MTV Campus. Campus, oh, I, remember yeah, that, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, MTV, and there was MTV U. MTV U. Yeah, right, 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 right. And we used to idolize him, bro. We were like, this guy's the coolest guy ever. He was the like anti-establishment hero for then? us. Why? Why? Yeah, yeah, you know, you, you know the assistants were. It was uh, Raghu and Rajiv were the two assistants. Yeah, and yeah right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they were producers. Oh, they were producers. Yeah, I was in a band. Baldi one and Baldi two. Sorry, Amit. That's amazing. And and oh, uh, I didn't know yeah. that they were the uh, they were the producers at that. That's something. They were producers. They were producers for when Brocha was to host the show. We tried our a... best to make sure they didn't go in front of the camera. We kept telling them, "Don't do that. India's not ready." But you know, <laughs> dude, I I have never seen good. as a I'm saying this because I was also like 18 when I joined. I have never seen fame like Brocha had, bro. It was yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I, I remember like, I used to watch MTV and I remember for, because before that, at, uh, at that time, MTV was streamed from like Hong Kong or whatever, right? So you used to see all these like, uh, these. I like the way you slide in this shit Kong. every two minutes Singapore, about your international travel. Right? Right? Singapore, yeah. Singapore, right? And uh, I, when 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 we saw Cyrus, he was the first Indian VJ yeah. on the. I'm like, oh, Indian guy, and he's so funny. Yeah. I understand his he jokes, was, you know. Was, so that was, was like the insane. stardom that. Yeah, yeah. That insane. was Malaika. I mean, the we look seen. alike. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you how it backfired on me, bro. Uh, I have faced problems. Like, okay, I'll give you an example. First year I joined MTV, they had something called a barge party. Alex Kurovella had this barge party. It was a boat. You'd go out to a boat, and there was all these cool people in this to dance. Broja decides to get pretty drunk, right? And throw the a fight. chair in. He picked the chair and threw it into the engine. So the fucking barge <laughs> stops. The barge stops moving. <laughs> and 
<laughs> have I told you this before? It's fucking, I, I, because I that was the first story. time I faced this shit. And then Kunal Vijaykar realizes that he, they, they slapped me, bro. Uh, they, uh, Kunal Vijaykar realizes he stopped the boat. The, the captain of the boat or whatever the guy who's an operator knows it's some Cyrus. Cyrus has been oh, taken no, away it's, it's, and they've given up. Oh, it's, no. it's run by all this, this is a Malu community that runs all the boating, okay? Mm. So they, the information that they got, and they're all cousins and from one village, was that this guy did it, a guy called Cyrus from this part. Cyrus. Yeah. So they caught then, him. Then, right. then, oh, as we went 1 30 in the morning, I come back to uh, yeah, what's the part where they sort of the oh man, the, the dock. Know? The doc. That's right. Fuck, I took two. <laughs> My brain is just... Uh, sorry, he's from Delhi. <laughs> <laughs> sorry for that. <laughs> like, what do you call that thing? Parking <laughs> spot. And, oh, are you guys, about dinner? This, Finish your boring story. Huh. These three guys, they man, you. they stop me. They say, are you Cyrus? And then I said, yes. And I get slapped, bro. And they're like, Tera oh. baap ga, kya so, you know what my life's been like? <laughs> this is what this guy was doing, leaving a trail of psycho, like psycho <laughs> shit. <laughs> which I was cleaning up for no fault. Right? But you know, I, funnily, uh, Sahu is like silvery. He prefers that on the menu uh, that I do not really uh, imbibe. But none of them drank heavily. There were no yeah. big drinkers, many to some extent. But the VJs were all very clean. <clears throat> Very boring. Uh, so bit, bo- you know, yeah, all the marketing guys and sales guys and the girls who worked there were the ones you hung out with. So I was drunk. okay because because he'd be after something else, and then she'd uh, tell the police. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what beautiful Silver days, is, man! He's your kind of guy. So yeah. Uh, Sahu, I think we we cut you off. You were talking about the the freaky Chandigarh story. Holy shit! Thank you, man. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry, what bro? To cut a long story short, I basically. We finished the gig. Yeah, bro, we finished the gig. You said, let's go down and check out their bar. And Brocha, in, in, in some weird way, thinks that if he starts talking in his, his version of the local like lingo, that there's going to be a bonding <laughs> happening. So he's like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, that's another joke. So we have this uh, Mumelona instead of tears. Yeah, that's an old gag. Yeah. Bond- this is like a bad bonding shit. And then yeah. they, we're having this patiala peg. We're sitting at the bar. The day is over. We've done our work. This guy turns up. And he says, aap yahan kya kar aap to saath bhi dinner karenge. And I'm like, dude, this is not part of the protocol. And our marketing guy has disappeared. You don't know where the hell he is. So we land up in this room with 11 men. Uh, butter, no, tandoori chicken in the middle. You don't remember this brocha? And then That's he looks at you and there's just silence. And I know that these are all the thugs of the century, bro. So I'm like, holy shit. If they kill us and chop us up here, no one will know. And he looks at Brocha and says, or Jokes, no? Jokes. 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 Let me try to bond while getting aggressive on 11 men. <laughs> and they're laughing. And they're laughing. And I'm getting more and more anxious, thinking they're going to fucking kill us, bro. And then he, then he took us to a theme park. He owned a theme park, bro. You don't remember this shit? <laughs> in Chandigarh, at 11 o'clock. I time, remember they were all gangsters. I mean, in the South, what I remember the story showed me. A- I, I remember this. We went, I, uh, Brocha, I think, was talking to him. This guy's son put me in a bumper car. Do you know what a bumper car is? Yeah, oh, yeah, those yeah. Cars. And I was so he scared. This kid, him. this kid banged me into a mild coma, bro. He just kept banging into my car. <laughs> And I was so nervous. I'm like, oh, he's such a cute kid. He's such a cute kid. <laughs> oh, passion. So I'm thinking they'll cut us up. We'll all die here. And uh, I don't know, man. There's just so many bizarre and strange stories. And it was such a So the things we've done for the company, experience. nobody understands. And uh, just two, three of us males did everything. I don't think the females yeah. were off the hook on this one. They were and off the hook on South, this one. South, East and West, we yeah. all the gangsters. And yeah. Their, yeah. our photographs are there. Mm-hmm. If, if, you know, uh, anybody in the Federal Bureau of Investigation America wants to check, <laughs> it's there. Sahu, that means we are very well known in the in the underworld. And you were you were always obsessed with like you'd find a serious moment and then you talk about like uh, some analogy to history, how Timur <laughs> never did something or how the Mongols were always this way. You were, Dude, what is I this just, newfound thing about? Why Brocha would we discuss the Mongols with, with the line? I don't know. Brocha has you never talked to... about history in his in a single episode of Cyrus oh, says that he's been doing for years. Oh, no, Brocha, are you are you are you, are you, are you are you not like I if I if, as I remember right, you had an incredible amount of history knowledge, man. 
do you, do you yeah. still read up on shit? I mean, we discuss things from time to time. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, talk all about the time. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, Genghis Khan is a particular favorite. Yeah. Uh, Genghis yeah, Khan, because yeah. what is it? One in seven people or something are, are uh, some, something done. like that. Yeah. yeah. How does that work? Say. Like he had that much sex. Is that well, how it works? Uh, it's uh, well, he really had a lot of sex, but one out of seven is really. How is that possible? No, no, but it, but it's, it's also not the that... gene from all all of them, right? The gene yeah, is from yeah, all of them. It crosses over. Right? It's not that difficult yeah. actually. So you know, uh, almost all of humanity, uh, there is one single uh, woman from Africa who we can trace all so of. Like again, yeah. yeah. That that everybody can be traced from, right? Because again, it's, her name oh. no, yeah, her name is Mary, uh, or I mean, like they yeah. call her Mary, right? But in yeah. the sense that, right. no, I don't even know. No, well, no. So I mean, like no, no. you know, ten generations down, when somebody no, is right. they, they, they have a kid uh, who is a Genghis Khan, that becomes this also. Yeah. Hey, but uh, have you guys oh. ever done your DNA testing to see what you guys were like? What, what is there something in India that you can do it? I have a. I mean, I'm I directly somewhere. related to Baba Ramdev, yeah. so <laughs> I've got to do the test again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm related to Narasimha Rao. You think? Dude, I want to have a pout. Are you actually related yeah. to Narasimha Rao? Dude, there is something there. I don't know. There is something there. Uh-huh. I can see it. But now I feel like if, if Narasimha Rao was on a Snapchat filter, it would look like you. <laughs> like I feel like if I remove all this shit, it's no, I think as he ages, the Narasimha will come out yeah. more. Yeah, yeah. you're like the young. You'll be the young guy. And they'll have you running from a train yeah, and then more. they'll cut to your feet and they'll cut to the uh, like, legendary the, the second Narasimha kid's Rao. time in his 40s and 50s, that character. I think more that. Yeah. yeah I agree. Okay, yeah, Aisha, I'm coming. Get to a of, should we get a couple of AMAs before we finish this off? Bro, what's the AMA? Yeah. Uh, uh, so so AMA any are... Listener questions. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do one quickly. What are you going to do now? This is our first question. What are you going to uh, do? Now I'll play with the <laughs> for, for ten years, for ten years straight, every time I worked with Brocha, I, before he left, I used to ask him, "What do you want to go home and do?" And he's like, <laughs> okay. and "For ten years, I've not given you a credible answer. <laughs> yeah. Still not satisfied. Oh damn! Yeah. See, yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn. So, like, so <laughs> oops, Mary. So a lot of people in the chat are uh, a lot of people in the chat are saying Habubu, which oh, is dude, a reference to the Ghost Stories that's, podcast. Yes, dude, that's so much fun. I love them. These ghost stories have changed Habubu. my life. What is this, Habubu? Dude, so I was trying to it's say, a way of was, rating. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was Habubu trying to scare. Rating. I was trying to scare these boys after telling them a story that happened to me. But in my over excitement, instead of saying "boo," it stuttered into <laughs> "habubu." <or Habubu. laughs> Just like the dog. <laughs> Just like Rami Chad didn't waste a second to rip me yeah. with that. <laughs> Immediately, "habubu op." <laughs> Immediately. It's all of that. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the first question comes in from General Bain. He says, uh, how do you think the government will announce that masks are not mandatory anymore? And how do you think people will react to that? I'll celebrate. But yeah. I think people will be upset. Conservative India. Lots of people will go mad. What about those who yeah. wear two masks? Do they can take yeah. off one mask and, and still be okay? Because from two, they go down mm-hmm. to one. Because yeah. a lot of people do wear two. My friend Kunal wears two, for example. The other Kunal, the fat two. one. I wore two yeah. on the shoot. I was wearing two. But two together, but as I in one over the other. Slowly. Yeah. I think they'll phase it out just the way yeah. they're opening up slowly, slowly. They'll do, uh, f- you You only have to wear uh, masks in certain public places. Then it'll be, okay, now you can wear it when you're in a closed space. And then, you know, you have that a kind of a appeal to that where basically we decide who should wear the mask. So, you know, like I, I, Amit said, the airport, <laughs> he points to the guy and say, you wear the mask. And everybody's okay, yeah, you wear the mask. Because they feel he's a threat. So, so I don't I, think that we're going to see masks go away in public for a while in India, right? Because uh, Two years, I think. Uh, yeah, because you got to think of the fact that many people live in joint families over here and children can't be vaccinated yet. So children yeah. are going to be ca- carriers of COVID, right? So I think masks and stuff mm-hmm. as a general precautionary method is not going away like in the next couple of weeks. Silvery, don't two years, no, two chance, years. Yeah. no chance. Two years. Beard and everything else. You're not going to see your face. You got glasses. You got a beard. You got a mask. You have no idea who you it's, are. It's actually it's fantastic. Yeah. It's like an yeah. amazing time for like burglary and shit like that. Like yeah. it's I think like so. legit. Uh, and I think happens, it's quite I'm comfortable. Thinking, this mask thing. Like, when you yeah, when just, you enter a bank, for yeah. example, wouldn't the teller get upset and worried because everybody's wearing masks? And this is in the old days. That's the guy who robs the bank, right? The, you walk yeah. in. You know, everybody's got that. This yeah. happened to me yeah. like when I was coming here, right? A, a friend of mine who I've known for 20 years, 25 years, uh, 
we met at the airport lounge and I did not recognize him because he's wearing a mask. He shaved his head for whatever reason. And he like, you know, uh, it's been the pandemic and some of us have put on some weight, right? So, I mean, like, you know, he looked very different. <laughs> Lots <laughs> of shit has happened, bro. <laughs> yeah. I feel like no. four minutes down this chat, you'll be like, and of course he got some reconstructive surgery. <laughs> no, but he, he just looked like a different and guy. He's like and he's standing in front children. of me as if I should know him. And, he's, and I'm like, this, I, I, you don't even look familiar. Right, because <laughs> it's just like, I, and then he like pulled it. I'm like, fuck, oh god, it's you. So, yeah. and, and it's a close friend of mine who I used to go for, like, you know, we'd go out for lunch like three times a month, uh, ten years Holy ago. So, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, like a really good friend of this mine. This is why Sahu, I respect you a lot. You've kept that extra nipple. So even yeah. if we find it difficulty in locating who you yeah. are, what you are, just, yeah. just yeah. let people see. He's got three, yeah. three yeah. items, and one on my back. It's like the, you know. It's very convenient. It, well, that would make it four. <laughs> that whole story is wrong. What the hell is wrong with three. you? Three. Three. Just, frauds. Sometimes you don't <laughs> add shit to something said. The one on the back is probably just a pimple. Screw you. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> uh, uh, Adriksh, uh, I'm, if you don't mind, I'm going to pick one of these AMA questions. Uh, yes, so yes, there's sir. a question asked. Uh, I can't find the name of the person, but somebody asked. Uh, when have people like Cyrus versus like uh, Cyrus? Have you gotten work for Cyrus Saukar, Brocha, and Brocha uh, Saukar? Have you gotten work for Brocha? Right? Have people made mistakes in terms of uh, contacting oh, you? Oh, hundreds of work? times. Oh, oh lots of times. You, his, how do you? All the time. His, how do you his work, work comes to me and mine to him. Lots of yeah. times. Yeah. So what do you do? How do you do it? And then what happens? You show up and you're like, but I don't want you. I want the other guy. Yeah. Mine was. The last time I remember is about two, three years back. I got a call. I was shooting in CNBC. I got a call from some kid with a youngish voice like Silvery. And he said uh, something about this show and it's all around you and we need to meet and this and that and the other. And will you please call back? You've not returned the call, etc., etc. And there were no calls on the phone. I checked and, and they never called back. <laughs> and then a little later, I met Sao and he told me he's just shooting a new show and just started shooting. This is the max immediately. <laughs> the I, moron I, I, the, of course, they'll never call back and say, Oh, sorry, bro, it's the other side. Is, you know, no, never, never. That, no Indian ever calls no. you back. Like when you do an yeah. audition, nobody calls but you I've, back. And says, I've had. I've had a lady who called for Cyrus Brocha and I told her, I'm not Cyrus Brocha. I'm That's Cyrus Saukar. And she's like, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> how unimportant <laughs> <laughs> This is a fucking thing. percent correct. <laughs> but, but I'll say, um, uh, I used to, uh, but Brocha was difficult. I got a lot of such calls. But the thing was, I never knew who to, whose number to give. I used to give a lot of Kunal's numbers. I used to always <laughs> give Kunal Vijayakar's number and then he used to one day message me or call me and saying, don't stop giving my number, give Shailaja's number. Because they all fucking call me. So, so I used to then give Shailaja's number and that, he was really irritated. Really. Like, oh. Look, I've got to work, yeah. but a lot of people just call for me for whatever reason, you know, I mean, the plumber yeah. calling. But that's a number he was given at home. It's yeah, so all the time, <laughs> bro. Way. But still, today, the guys, few, when they ask for a mobile number at a corporate, you know, when you go to a corporate place and they ask for the number, I always give Kunal's, which I know by heart. <laughs> but I've been introduced uh, I've also been introduced on stage as Cyrus yeah. Brocha, like numerous oh, times. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, are you numerous serious? And, and I and haven't fucking connected anyone. No, no, by like yeah. random people. Like, hey, I was just Cy and they never get his surname right. So she'd be like, and now put your hands together for Cyrus Barucha, Barucha. And I'm like, <laughs> first I have to correct you on that guy's name. Then I have to get to the point that I'm not that guy. Then I tell you, Saukar, you'll fuck up. I'm like, that's me. Let's just finish this shit. So I've never corrected anybody. I'm just like, fuck it, it's too much so work. We should have just gone with Suresh and Mahesh or Ramesh yeah. before the five star hijacked it. I, I, I we should do a show uh, with these silly names. You always have uh, names which rhymed. Yeah, it's yeah. Just fun. We had Sylvia Rat Poison also. You made that poor woman. She turned she into left a, the job because of you. She became she a left priest. The job, bro. That's on you. She became a priest. Well, not she a priest, so, but she's, 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 she's spreading the word of God. Yes. Yeah. She's a counselor. Right. So, in a way, we, yeah. we set it to a good place. <laughs> <laughs> spreading the word we took of 32 God. Takes to do one small gag hey. because we couldn't stop laughing <laughs> because we used the phrase Sylvia. Okay, yeah, so she was driving us mad. She was a production lady named Sylvia. So we just, we were doing the gag about rat poison, dying in bed, etc, etc. And one of us put the name Sylvia onto the rat poison, just ad-lib thing. <laughs> and then we went berserk. The cameraman went it, berserk. We went berserk. Yeah. The, I mean, the next day she changed her profession and became a, uh, what do you call it, a messenger of God. 
There's something. <laughs> It's like I mean, it was, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean that that's kind of intense, right? I, mean, I, I like, tried you, everything. I tried avoiding eye contact so we can finish. You know, I would want to finish the damn thing. So be like Sylvia, say he goes Sylvia rat poison. I'm looking down at that point, but then after that you have to look up. Some point. So you skip the Sylvia rat poison, then you make eye contact. Boom, you start laughing again. It's like a disease. Oh, so what's amazed me, Baby. Roach, is you've never gone through like uh, I've always find you found you in relatively the same tone. Like you haven't. How do you manage? To keep your shit together all these years and not like have, I have like chronic piles. Bad days, or somehow you can. Chronic so you piles means that I'm always hyper you know. because you know I have to sit forward or backward. I can't sit straight, for example, and I'm always that. It, it's like uh, clutching at you and makes you, you know, the blood rush never stops. So I've got constant blood rush thanks to piles. Nobody's interested. Look at the four faces. Really I just don't know what to say to that, right? You gave a way too serious answer to a question. I spent enough nights with Saukar. He knows I have piles. I mean, you can't apply in those places on your own, for God's sake. Thank God. Our friendship. But it's, but it's, barriers. it's yeah. I, I want to I wanna actually go over to Brochas and hang one day and just chill there, man. It's been super long. We haven't actually we, seen We don't see. live in the same place now. But we, you know, Brocha, we we, we we but we hung out during the pandemic, man. We shot something. Forget that. You used to bathe in my house when in the early days. It was very fab. Uh, fab. By the way, again, Super the difference. Nice my bath is thirty seconds. Saukar's bath. I think it starts about two hours into the bath. You know, he's in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know like, you have a bubble bath. There's no reason to spend time there. I don't have a there, bubble bath. But it's a bubble bath. No, but I so, feel like you, then, you know hotel hotel bar. Two days later, he see. comes out of the bar. By which time I'm like, the bars are closed. What are you doing? I'm drunk. Also, to yeah. To be yeah. fair, Sa Sa Saugar is six three, so he has more to wash. Yes, bro. <laughs> it takes a long time. His feet takes uh, longer to reach down. He used to stand <laughs> under the. He, Brocha used to stand under the tap. I was in the hand the shower. shower. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so actually, uh, sorry, so I don't know if you saw that, but Ashton Kutcher does the same thing. He doesn't he doesn't bathe. He's like once a week or something like that. Yeah, Ashton Kutcher oh, and uh, his Mila Kunis and their kids, right? So there was somebody asked them that. Uh, okay, Nail, what's wrong with this family? I, I no, they're just like no. If they get dirt on them, family, we take them. Otherwise, it's fine. Yeah, but that's because uh, they live in the US where the weather is good. Like, can exactly. I live in Bombay with this sweaty yeah, weather? Uh, yeah, yeah. Not not that, bro. Exactly. I need to be. I, I need to be. I need to be. Twice a day, yeah, yeah, right twice a day right. has to be done. Yeah, the third one is right right now. Let's just promise. Right. Come on. Together we That's bathe a, for five minutes. Synchronized bathing. I, I, I love bathing. <laughs> I really enjoy it. I think it's a great thing. <laughs> And I, I feel like a, a, a shower yeah. in the middle of the day is like a second chance. Like you come out fresh again, your brain feels like, yes, oh, I could do something. And then you go to mediocrity and failure. I right? think That's all good. Indians should carry a towel <laughs> with them. And if you see a body of water, you just go in and you have your little bath, yeah. wherever it is. Yeah. You're going to eat dinner at, you eat at 7.20. That's super healthy. At bro. 7. I'm they're all waiting for me because you guys are just going okay. on talking. For some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I learned so much. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay, bye guys. What a wonderful Love show. Love you guys, man. Was. Love you, Brocha. Thank you. Topic. Thanks, topic everybody. As usual. Go, Brocha. Thank you. Go, Brocha. <laughs> you know, Brocha, how much In we talked about you. Shut we talked, <laughs> we talked about you so much. Uh, we had this uh, chat and we talked about you so much on this. Ravina Raval, uh, Dead Ant had this chat with all the uh, old VJs. Yeah, all the VJs, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we I talked about that. you so much, bro. We missed you so much, man. I got so many what dodgy stories, but I don't know if it's right. Dead Ant, Dead Ant is that uh, the comedy uh, publication that's on. Uh, he's, yeah. the he's preying on my Alzheimer's because I can't confirm half the stories anymore. <laughs> but yeah, what's happened to you? I can't you say much because I took 45 minutes to find the word doc. But once you get married, the first thing you want to do, the memory goes first. It's, it's almost the, the thing you want to let go of. Yeah. W, sweetie, I mean, you know. Okay, 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 boys. Bye, guys. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Enjoy America. Bye. Say hi to Joe. Yes, I will. Bye. Take Bye. care, man. Bye.